Winchester Repeating Arms is possibly one of the most widely recognized names in the world of firearms. Throughout its history, Winchester has ridden a roller coaster of wild success and near misses. The company is famous for its lever action rifles, bold action rifles, and shotguns, and is nearly synonymous with the Wild West. They made excellent firearms that saw action in both world wars, but they struggled in the years between and after. Winchester emerged from the failure of a lever action rifle called the Volition, an offering available from the partnership of Horace Smith and Daniel Wesson. Yes, that's Smith and Wesson, which resulted in an improved lever action rifle designed by Benjamin Tyler Henry. Yes, that Henry. Smith and Wesson Incorporated as a Volcanic Repeating Arms Company to sell their improved lever action rifle. The Volcanic Rifle had limited success, so in 1860, they released an improved version known as the Henry Rifle and reorganized the company under a new name, New Haven Arms. Winchester was known for their lever action rifles, but produced other famous firearms in the late 19th century. The model 1897 pump action shotgun designed by John Moses Browning is a notable example. Now, Browning worked with Winchester through World War I, during which he developed the Browning automatic rifle and the 50 caliber Browning machine gun. And while they had achieved impressive production capacity during World War I, the accompanying depression forced the Winchester company into receivership. The 32 Winchester Special was the only bright spot during this time. World War II saw Winchester utilizing their high productive capacity once again. The company regained some of the ground they lost in the years between the wars with M1 Garand and M1 Carbine rifles. And the 308 Winchester, released in the 1950s, became the company's most influential cartridge to date. In 1964, Winchester formed a new design group in order to take advantage of new technology in manufacturing. This date created a line of demarcation, and firearms came to be called pre- and post-1964 models. Pre-64 models are perceived as higher-quality firearms and are valued much higher by collectors of Winchester rifles and shotguns. Though Winchester sold many popular firearms, among them, the well-known Model 94 lever action rifle, the Model 70 rifle, and the Model 12 pump shotgun, they were unable to keep pace with increasing labor costs. The company was sold to its employees in 1980 and incorporated as U.S. Repeating Arms. Winchester's parent company, Olin, retains the rights to and still manufactures ammo under the Winchester name. Winchester, as such, remains a significant force in the market for ammunition. They sell products that fit in practically every niche of the firearms industry. Their newest cutting-edge ammunition includes the Acubond CT and the PDX-1 Defender. For shooters who like their traditional ammunition, the Super X line is a popular choice. The history of the Winchester company has cycled up and down many times. It's impossible to predict how the company will fare in the future, but their resiliency seems to suggest that Winchester will find a way to be a top manufacturer of ammo for many years to come. Check out today's best ammo deals by visiting us at ammo.com, follow us on social media, and most importantly, be sure to subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube for more high-quality videos to help you stay armed, both physically and philosophically.